the story goes that, that my grandmother, Audrey Mardme, was on a tour uh, around Britain um, with the Beggar's Opera in, in the winter of 1940 with Rudy Bing, who was our general administrator at the time. And they went to uh, Edinburgh, and uh, uh, my grandmother remarked, looking up at the castle on top of the, uh, of the hill, that uh, what a wonderful place to have a festival. Uh, and this remark stayed with Rudy Bing, um, uh, and, and he recalled it later on when they were looking to expand Glyndebourne's activities. So after the war, um, Rudy Bing uh, set up a meeting with Henry Harvey Wood in the Scottish office of the British Council council in Edinburgh to propose the idea of a festival in Edinburgh. And after a series of meetings in April to November of 1945, um, it was agreed to start a festival society, Edinburgh Festival Society, with Glyndebourne acting as an administrator. It was by then too late to, to, uh, to, to, to start a festival for 1946, so Rudy Bing began plans for 1947. There was another piece of paper too, and I unfortunately lost it, um, which was like this, and it said, he introduced me to Bing, is what it said. Yes, indeed. I can't find it. No. And so what we really have is some of these lovely mementos mm -hmm. from those very early times, mm -hmm. just before the festival got going. And here's a photograph in the very first program, the first festival, of Rudolf Bing, of the Lord Provost of the time, John Faulkner, and of course of your mother-in-law, the uh, Countess of Rosebery. Countess of Rosebery, Rosebery. yes. And, and, and of Harvey Wood, the councillor, who yes. with her pushed the thing forward. Yes, exactly. So and, and the, wonderful and documents to her have. Her little note in her own naming these people that I found that card on that page of the book. And of course, we've got some notes of people who were probably being approached to perform, and lo and behold, we have Schnabel, Zigetti, Primrose, Fournier. And Isaac Stern. And Isaac Stern, yes. which we'd find. Yes, he's I mean, in there too. Yes, a remarkable mm. document and archive. So way back in 47, um, when the festival was suggested here, it wasn't a thing people actually seriously wanted to do with their orbits. They wanted to get lost, get out of Edinburgh. So I think it, it was miraculous that my father-in-law, in wanting to increase the tourist season, um, encouraged my mother-in-law to uh, invite the international people who were trying to increase music, particularly German music, in Britain after the war. And he said, well, I'll put down 5,000 pounds, which is my winnings on the Gold Cup a horse race called the Gold Cup. So he said, you can have my 5,000 pounds as, as a starter, as a um, seed, seed money to go away and see if you think that perhaps you could consider having a festival. 